Wait, what was that? Good afternoon from Mission Control Houston at the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas. You're looking at a live view of the Soyuz MS-21 spacecraft lock docked to the pre-shawl module. It's shown on the left of your screen there, and on the right-hand side is the Soyuz MS-19 spacecraft, which will be heading back home to Earth on March 30th. The Soyuz MS-21 spacecraft docked to the pre-shawl module at 2.12 p.m. Eastern Central Time, 3.12 p.m. Eastern Time this afternoon. After completing a two-orbit, three-hour rendezvous that began with the launch of the Soyuz at 10.55 a.m. Central Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemyov, Denis Matviev, and Sergei Korsakov are still in the Soyuz spacecraft, running through some final leak checks on the Soyuz side of the docking interface. Just a short time from now, the small vestibule or passageway between the Soyuz and the pre-shawl module will be pressurized and hatches will be able to be opened. Uh, please repeat. To recap some of the milestones that have occurred so far today, the Soyuz MS-21 and their crew launched to the International Space Station at 10.55 and 18 seconds Central Time. They lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Then eight minutes and 46 seconds later, third stage separation occurred of the booster and the solar rays and navigational antennas deployed just moments later, beginning the two orbit journey to the International Space Station. Then, just about three hours later, the Soyuz MS-21 arrived and docked to the pre-shawl module on the first time, for the first time ever, and the docking probe on the Soyuz retracted and hooks closed on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate between the Soyuz MS-21 and the International Space Station. Again, the Soyuz MS-21 docked just hours ago at 2.12 p.m. Central Time, and you can see it there on the left-hand side of your screen. Regulator 1, is that correct? Uh, yes, RPV-1 uh, is closed now. Copy. We're just under 15 minutes now from the scheduled hatch opening, slated to occur at about 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is the ISS crew. ISS pressure is 7.49 millimeters. 7.49, copy. And uh, what are our next steps? Stand by for now. Station marked on space to ground one for Anton regarding the hatch opening. And the crew inside the Soyuz is continuing to step through link check procedures with the ground ahead of hatch opening. Anton, you can proceed with the opening of the hatches from your side. Copy, in work. So this is Moscow. Uh, uh, we're standing by uh, for the Ober SU uh, hatch uh, opening uh, by the ISS uh, crew. ISS uh, docking port hatch, Ober SU. Uh, yes, uh, correct. Uh, so they will. Uh, Start opening the hatch from their side, uh, copy. And uh, what are we supposed to do next? 
Stand by for now. And when they open the hatch, we'll give you directions and uh, uh, we'll give you a go uh, to proceed with the steps uh, that are in the box on page 70. Copy. And as you just heard there, the crew on board the International Space Station will begin procedures to open the hatch on their end. Following a series of leak checks on the Soyuz side, the hatch will be opened, but prior to that, vestibule pressur pressurization will occur. And then once hatches are open, the three Russian cosmonauts inside the Soyuz MS-21 will float aboard and be greeted by the Expedition 66 crew. Copy, in work. This will increase the space station population from seven to ten crew members. Currently on board the International Space Station are NASA astronauts Raja Chari and Tom Marshburn, as well as ESA or European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer, Roscosmonauts Ros Cosmos, Cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Pyotr Dubrov, and NASA astronauts Kayla Barron and Mark Vandehei. And with every passing second, NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei continues to break the record for longest single space flight by an American astronaut. When he returns to Earth on March 30th aboard the Soyuz MS-19, he will have spent a total of 355 days in space. And you're now seeing a view inside the space station continuing to work through procedures ahead of hatch opening coming up here shortly. And on your screen, you see Roscosmos cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov working through procedures to open the hatch on his end. He's currently inside the Neuka module of the International Space Station. So were you able to find the cap? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, located those. A while back, actually, copy. And, and once Anton Shkaparov opens up the hatch, the vestibule pressurization will begin. That process will take several minutes, and then the crew will be given the go on the Soyuz side to open the Soyuz hatch. Okay, copy all. And uh, also your goal to put the second suit for drying. So I guess we need to check that list. Stand by. Moscow Station on Space to Ground 2. Go ahead on Space to Ground 2. We have to remove Have you equalized the pressure? Uh, we're going to put it for drying. Yes, and you can open the KVD valve. Yes, we have the PV valve open. And well, I'm going to try and open the hatch right now. Everything's looking good. Are you receiving the video? Yes, we are. And the crew inside the Soyuz have worked through vestibule pressurization process and procedures, and soon will be opening up the hatch. Okay. 
So, okay, I guess it's uh, your turn now. And you now see both Anton Shkaparov and Piotr Dubrov inside the hatch, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer. They're working together to open up the hatch. And the hatch is open. Look, so this All is right. I guess I can hear Anton now. Okay, go ahead. Stand by. Next up, we'll be awaiting hatch opening on the Soyuz side. Guys, we can see you. Good job. This is MCC Moscow. Go ahead. ISS hatch is open. Yes, ISS hatch is open. Uh, so your go uh, to execute the stuff uh, in the uh, box frame. Stand by. Uh, let us tow the uh, suit first. Copy. Moscow Station on Space Ground 2. Go ahead on Space Ground 2. We have the hatch open. We're going to uh, get it secured in a second, and uh, the Soyuz can, crew can open the hatch. Good job. Now just standing by for hatch opening on the Soyuz side. All right. We Did you start the timer? Okay. Uh, let's do it. Uh, Moscow, uh, Donna, go ahead. Uh, the second suit uh, has been put for drying as well, uh, and uh, we also noted the time. Copy. And we are now seeing the Soyuz hatch there. We'll stand by for it to swing open momentarily. Uh, please proceed with uh, pressure equalization. Stand by one, please. Stand by. Uh, I'm returning uh, to the uh, orbital module now. All right, uh, so pressure equalization. I'm going to uh, need to close the container. And now just joining inside the space there is NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei. Uh, so you were saying that uh, I... Again, with every second that passes, Mark Vandehei continues to break the record for longest single space flight by an American. 
Uh, Anton, valve. Yes, correct. please do not forget open. to put the, the PEV valve, valve in the electrical open. control mode. Uh, the pressure is uh, 747. And uh, I'm opening the Cavade pressure acquisition valve. Uh, yes, correct. Cavade, Deus. Inside the Soyuz, the crew is working through vestibule pressurization. Once this is complete, the crew will be given the go on the Soyuz side to open up the Soyuz hatch, and they'll be welcomed aboard the International Space Station. Cavade is uh, open now, and uh, stand in by for <coughs> two minutes uh, should pass after uh, the uh, pressure equalization uh, once the pressure uh, starts uh, changing. Yes, that's correct. Uh, so it was at 817, and uh, it is 814 now. Copy. Eight hundred and twelve. Copy. Uh, so we have a few recommendations uh, for you on the uh, deactivation. Uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, so this is orbital flight procedure. Uh, now joining is Kayla, NASA astronaut Kayla Barron. Okay, so uh, you were saying orbital flight procedure, correct? Yes, uh, correct. So orbital fl flight. Uh, what page is it? Page 25. 25. Raja Chari, Tom Marshburn as well, also. The entire crew will be in this space to welcome the Soyuz MS-21 crew aboard the International Space Station. Standing by for hatch opening. So you, you were saying page uh, 38? Is deactivation. So I guess we can do that after hitch opening, correct? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, you'll do that uh, later. Okay. Okay, sounds good. So once we transfer to the station, we'll put that in work shortly after. Uh, yes. And uh, 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 we're going to remind you about that later. Okay. I will put it in work. Uh, so, uh, page 36, item 4 and 5 should not be executed. So, uh, and if you're just joining us, we are awaiting hatch opening of the Soyuz MS-21 spacecraft, which docked to the International Space Station earlier this afternoon at 2.12 p.m. Central Time. Prior to that, Soyuz MS-21 completed a two-orbit rendezvous after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. That liftoff occurred on time at 10.55 and 18 seconds central time. Okay, copy all. And also, you're going to have to uh, change out the uh, SA uh, purification cartridge. The steps are specified on page 35. Anton, please do not forget to put the PEV cover the valve in so the electrical control mode. Uh, yes, you're going to have to uh, uh, swap on one and press three. Too. Please okay, put the cover the valve uh, in the electrical control mode. Swap, uh, Copy, one in work. PEV cover the valve cover the U is in electrical control mode. The PEV valve cover there is in electrical control mode. Uh, so is everything clear here? Uh, yes. All right. 
And also, uh, you, you're going to have to uh, transfer items from MRM2 to the Soyuz uh, orbital module. And these uh, items are as follows, uh, AFOT filter 2, AFOT 2M. Uh, yes, correct. Uh, and uh, it has a barcode. Zero, zero, one, four. Stand by. Uh, stand by, please. Zero, zero, one, four. Two, nine. Two, nine. Two, nine. Zero, three. Uh, zero, three. three. And G. G. J. Is it the uh, APOT filter number? Uh, yes, correct. This is its barcode. 0014-2903. Copy all. Yes, that's correct. And also uh, BMP number 18. Copy. BMP number 18 and also 3 EPK gas mask. Copy. BMP uh, 3 EPK. So to reiterate, it's uh, a BMP uh, unit and 3 EPK. Copy. Sounds good. Uh, we'll uh, transfer all of these items. And uh, one more thing, uh, suit number three uh, should be uh, put for drying in Soyuz 749. Uh, copy. Uh, As the crew on Soyuz MS-21 continues to step through procedures ahead of hatch opening inside the space station, the crew on board is preparing to welcome them. Uh, all right. Uh, the International Space Station is currently flying over the Pacific Ocean, approaching the northwest coast of South America. Deactivated manually uh, in case of fire. All right, we'll uh, turn them off manually in case of fire. Moscow, come check. We're in a brief expected handover between satellites, but should regain communications here shortly. Oleg Germanovich, yes, go ahead. And uh, also for the uh, short two orbit rendezvous, uh, page 72, please stand by. All right, two uh, orbit or short rendezvous profile, page 72. Page 72. All right, I uh, hold up page uh, 72. So once you transfer uh, to the station uh, and open the hatch, of course, you're going to have to go back to the Soyuz. Okay. Uh, and uh, you're going to have to uh, deactivate the uh, duplex intercom unit, the uh, VPU, and uh, the MBS also. Okay, page 72. Uh, after we're done with all of the other steps, 
We're going to have to execute the actions that uh, are here in this uh, frame on page 72. Yes, that's correct. And uh, you're going to have to install the KSB as to cap uh, once you open the hatches. Uh, OK, sounds good. And uh, also, uh, you'll have to uh, deactivate the atmospheric purification unit uh, in the orbital module and install a cap. Uh, all right, we will put it all in work. And uh, we're basically waiting for you guys. Okay. Sounds good. We'll get busy. Station master, space to ground two for Piotr. Piotr, no response required. You are just covering up the a camera a little bit, so could you please make What's sure the that uh, the Stand by. we have a clear was, view uh, of the descent module. Hatch. Uh, so let me check that. So now that's looking great. The pressure reading is 749. Copy. Uh, 749. Uh -huh. uh, that's correct. And we need to make sure that the uh, pressure is stable uh, throughout the two minutes. Uh, yes, uh, we will check that right now. Standing by to confirm that pressurization is stable. And to recap some of the milestones from today, the journey for three Russian cosmonauts began to the International Space Station at 10.55 a.m. Central Time, 11.55 a.m. Eastern Time, with liftoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Then eight minutes and 46 seconds later, third stage shutdown and separation occurred on the Soyuz booster. Soyuz performed a series of as-expected burns to propel the Soyuz into its preliminary orbit for a two-orbit, three-hour journey to the International Space Station. Docking occurred at 2.12 p.m. Central Time earlier this afternoon. And we are now standing by for hatch opening. Uh, Alex, uh, do you think you'll be able to uh, come back here prior to the uh, conference and complete uh, the steps on page 72? Of course, we'll uh, do it all. And uh, we have the whole night uh, coming up. Go ahead and open the hatch. Okay, just FYI, we have right, equalizer by. pressure. We are going to go for hatch opening. Visible pressure monitoring valve. A closing, crack at the valve. So what page are we on now? Page 7-0. Closing, Kakate. Valve closing, and it is now closed. Go ahead and close the uh, PV valve. We should see the Soyuz MS 21 hatch open here shortly. So, uh, is everyone dressed? So that goes over here. And. Uh, the next page is page 71, item 8.1. All right, switching to page 71. 
opening the uh, bevo is to hatch. So I'm, I'm going to have to uh, set the liver for uh, the uh, hatch tool stopper. Did you see the hatch tool? The hatch tool, there it is. It should be here. Stand by. Uh, yes, everything is in correct configuration. It is where it should be. What was that? All right. Uh, so, yeah, almost there. Uh, they're knocking already. All right. So I'm supposed to do six to seven turns. Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemyov, Denis Matviyev, and Sergei Korsakov working through final procedures ahead of hatch opening. I'm going to put that away to make sure it's not in the way. Huh? What was that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nope. I guess they're somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure where. They mean the ones for the crew? No. I'm not sure where I put mine. And uh, uh, the flashlight is not there. No, it's not for the crew. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So they aren't going to let us in. All right, opening the hatch now. And we should see the hatch open here in just a moment. Halfway there. Давай, давай. Go ahead. Опа. Go. That's right. The hatch is open. Hatch opening occurring at 4.48 p.m. All right. Hooray. All right. Go for it. All right. Go ahead. Go first. But be careful. What was that? Yes, go ahead. And I'm going to uh, finish up here. First through the hatch is Denise Matviyev. First through the hatch was Korsakov. Next up is Denise Matviyev. Uh, yes, so, so are we go to uh, transfer and I'm signing off, correct? Yes, sounds good. Your go. All right. And next up we'll see Spa Soyuz Commander Oleg Artemyov as he floats through the hatch.
and all three Russian cosmonauts are now aboard the International Space Station. In a short while, the crew will complete a routine safety briefing being led by the commander of the International Space Station, Anton Shkaplerov. And recapping some milestones from today, the journey to the International Space Station for three Russian cosmonauts began at 10.55 a.m. Central Time with liftoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Eight minutes and 46 seconds after liftoff, third stage was shut down and separation occurred on the Soyuz booster. Then just seconds later, the Soyuz automatically commanded its solar arrays and nav navigational antennas to deploy. The Soyuz performed a series of of nominal burns to propel the Soyuz into its preliminary orbit for a two-orbit, three-hour journey to the International Space Station. The Soyuz docked to the Prishal module on the Russian segment of the International Space Station at 2.12 p.m. Central Time, and the docking probe on the Soyuz retracted. Hooks were closed on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate between the Soyuz MS-21 and the International Space Station. Following this, a series of leak checks took place, the vestibule was repressurized, and the crew floated through the hatch at 4.48 p.m. Central Time, 5.48 p.m. Eastern Time. With the Soyuz MS-21 and its crew now safely aboard the International Space Station, that will wrap up our coverage for today. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Mission Control Houston.